guys, so I'm sitting in the dark. Just got done building some racks here. I have to give the fish some time to fall asleep, cause I'm gonna do a little night fishing. Hello world, hope you're doing well. If not, hope it gets better for you. Let's jump into it. These maculosis. These maculosis I've been wanting to breed. See when they're asleep, they're so much easier to catch. See how quick I caught him? Put him in here with this Daphne and tank that we were feeding him out of. That way there's gonna be plenty full. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the rice fish and all the maculosis in there. Try it again. They'll have plenty of food in there. Look at that. Oh, he's quick. He realized he was in there. Now you don't want them to wake up on you because they will freak out once they know. Shoot. I don't think they were asleep enough. These guys are super easy. And by the time I get from the triple crown, hopefully I'll have some babies. Wish me luck. And that's how you catch fish in a heavily planted aquarium. And always check the next day because there's always that one fish left behind. Well, this Lamonti is still kicking in here. He's hanging out by the half big spot. They're looking for a snake. We got some G Max in here. I thought about catching. We'll see. Maybe next try. I don't give any babies this time. She looks, I do give birth or what? I should not mess with that. I wish I could film the sky for you guys cause four or five o'clock in the morning has the best stars. Yeah, the path back to home. As I mentioned, there is one more in there. I saw him earlier, he darted off. Grab him some Daphne and hopefully I can lure him back out. But never fails. Always that one left. Pretty sure I know which one too because I had one get in the net then spazzed out and managed to get away from me. And those are usually ones I hide and are left behind. Which got two options. You can either chase them down in the tank and hunt them and find them. Or you can wait till it comes back up and maybe night fish them later that night. The only problem with leaving them in trying to do it that way. And why I like to go ahead and hunt them down too. Because he didn't come out for that Daphne. He knows. He's on to me. So I'm going to go hunting him down so he's not eating eggs. So I'll just pretty much go through the tank. Kind of push and move the algae. As you can see, there's a bit of algae in here. Or heck, well, see, I don't want to pull that. You'd be wanting to pull that just to help. But that might have eggs on it. So we just keep moving this net around until we find them. I've been all through it. I have my hand in there to help move things around, hopefully see them. I saw them once around here, between there and there. And I work my way around the tank too. That way I kind of travel them in a circle. That way usually they'll follow along, but he is somewhere in there and I am either passing him and he's tucked in and he's not one that will move because I haven't seen him. <laughs> move since oh, slam done so next step is let's go ahead and shut this light off or actually let's give it like 20 minutes we'll come back it's always good to go ahead and seed the tank that you take your breeders out with daphne that way whenever you breed next time there's a bunch in there plus for the babies and you consistently keep your daphne going and also since it's just so dark in here it's good to get a flashlight always good to have a flashlight in the fish room i did get a couple opportunities to catch them but totally missed they're so fast no matter how fast you are fish is always faster in water so when you go to catch a fish say there's a fish here go slow and then try to coerce them into a corner so corral them and go slow because as, as soon as you jerk that net or if you try to jerk that net even if you're close that fish is going to be gone but if you take it slow he'll kind of be confused on what to do and very often you can get him right in all right he's in the bottom somewhere i'm not giving up on this fish there's no way i gotta go to the triple crown too so gotta get him out before i go and i've only got like a couple hours we gotta get him out because it would just waste two weeks worth of work of trying to breed these guys that's usually what i give them oh this tank is chilly though i guess it's 93 out so it's a big temp difference now since i had to go to the triple crown i had sarah go ahead and try to catch the fish for me she called me she caught it luckily i think it was like the first or second night i'm just i don't know if there's spiders down here 
four snakes, some thick bush. Stick around for the end shot. Let me know what you think about it. I thought it turned out well. Oh, you see all these birds back there? Just sneak up on them and get this end clip for you guys. I gotta hide up behind the grass so you don't see me. Kind of like a cat, you know? Watch this. He could move, but otherwise they would run. I also gotta watch for snakes and gators too, though. It's a beautiful shot. Can't wait to make more videos out here. Shoot, they're running. Don't get scared just because I got out of the cart. There's literally so many birds here. Look at that. Oh, they just pooped right in camera. Oh, gross. Yeah, that happened. Look at that duck chilling. Oh, hey, don't run. How'd you know? Another watch duck. Watch bird. Cruz, look at that guy hiding in there. He middle he's not a, he's not one of those but she did catch the fish so that was good looks like we got some babies but the triple crown was awesome we'll have footage of that coming up so hit the subscribe button if you want to see what that was about because the triple crown was amazing it's like one of the biggest fish conventions for like fish hobbyists, nerds, the ones that like to get deep in the rabbit hole of fish. These are the annual convention clubs for four different fish clubs. People think of a fish, it was probably there. Besides your common fish, your common fish, there wasn't so many of those, but the rare ones, the great ones, oh, mm, it was magnifique. But anyways, thank you all. Appreciate you all for watching, all your support. I could not do this without you, so keep it up. Hit the thumbs up. That would help the algo. Leave a comment. That would help the algorithm as well. Until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one.